So, hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my update or actually finale to my Pan That Face palette. And before I get started, I did do my hair um, today. I kind of braided it, but I braided it the wrong way. So I did this like side bun to compensate. And this whole thing was to distract you guys from the fact that my hair is kind of greasy today because I haven't washed it two days, so. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna get started. And um, so I've been working on panning this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And this was actually a present from my friend last year for my birthday. And I really wanted to pan it for her, but I just can't pan this thing anymore. I hated the bronzers and the blushes were honestly the best thing in this palette. But I'll tell you why I'm stopping. So, um, I didn't really touch this palette to be honest since the last time I did my update, so I'll just show you what it looks like. And I did finish this highlighter up here, the original highlighter, and I pressed one of my favorite highlighters into here. But I'm going to be getting rid of it in this palette as well. And that's because there's coconut oil in here. There's not a lot, I think, but there's still some. and. Coconut oil is, I don't know how to say it, but it does um, have larger particles, so it can clog your pores, and if you have oily skin, that could be a problem, or if you have skin with larger pores, that could be a problem, so for me, that is definitely the case, so I'm just going to stop using this, and the highlighter that I repressed in here is actually a bronzer, it was the... Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer, and it was the satin side, and it's larger than this highlighter down here, and it's the most subtle, beautiful highlighter I have ever seen. It's not my favorite highlighter that I've ever tried, but it is the second favorite I've ever tried. So, that's pretty up there, and I have to get rid of it as well because it's coconut oil, and I have Melia on my skin like right here and sometimes on my cheeks as well so in order to reduce the amount like to reduce the risk i guess um i'm just gonna stop using this palette overall um i would have to say my favorite thing in this palette was probably pink sand right here this blush down here but and i almost debated just keeping this palette for this highlighter and pink sand but I have something else. This is the Hourglass holiday palette for this year. I shelled out 80 bucks for this baby because I just wanted to try it this year. And also, if you look at this shadow, I mean shadow, this blush, it's pretty similar. Okay, maybe not that similar, but it's similar enough on my cheeks. Um, they're kind of like in the same color family if you will. I do prefer this more and this is not going to be my pan that face palette. I'm just going to end this project just because we're almost at the end of the year and I don't want to get sick of this. I find myself like I've realized that I actually end up disliking a lot of products when I have to use them for extended periods of time. Um, like I just find more and more problems <laughs> with the product that I didn't notice before. But if I use on an everyday basis, then that's when I really start to notice the problems. So, yeah, I'm decluttering this because I have this now. And trust me, this is so much better, even though it's like twice the price. This is $44 and this is $80. But um, this is free for me. And I'm really sorry, Erin, if you ever watch this. I did try my best to work with this and love it, but um, this is the best I could do. So I used up one highlighter, hit pan on another highlighter, that, if you can see, and then hit pan on the bronzer. And blush is just <laughs> something that's really hard for me to show much progress on. Anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you not for another update of this in another video. Bye! <laughs>
Thank you.